Hi guys, Gay Pokemon here, and I have another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. It's against um, Spirit One Thousand. It's a fun battle. Um, I really liked it, and I'm gonna show it to you. So, um, first to be supporting. In this battle, I really had been a big advantage on the team. It was really good for me because I was able to take him out beautifully. So here's the keys I have. Um, you can look at carefully. Um, there it is. He's like, we only have two defensive Pokemon. That's more and Carol, really. So really, it's, I had this. And when I looked at this team, I looked like I had it in the bag. So let's see how I had it in the bag. So, I start off with my Swampert, like always. Um, and he starts off with Leap Hard. Um, I don't know, Leap Hard is a good choice. He went for the stealth, I mean, um, fake out. I even went for the surf. And I try to go for the surf, surf but it's flinching. And I, I was going for the surf, predicting a U turn between one of his Pokemon. So, yeah. I'm gonna go for the rocks here. He goes for the taunt, which really sucks. And now I can't use my rocks, and that really, really sucks. So I get my lefties and all that stuff. And he gets his, yeah. Now he switches here, and I still don't know what kind. I think he's, um, life orb. But he goes into a polygon. And because Empoleon was his like only sleeper in this team, I think that had a chance to really beat my team. He was the only sleeper. Um but I totally destroyed Empoleon with my swampert. I went for the EQ and it survived like fifty hit points left. It sucks, but he went for the substitute, and he couldn't do anything there because it failed. And that was great by my part. And he gets his lefties, I don't have to get my lefties, and my cut wears off, which is good. I go for the earthquake just to finish it off. And there goes Empoleon. Yeah, dead Empoleon. So that's one down. So he goes with the guy, uh, which is, uh, Totero. And, I went for the stealth rock here. Hi. And, and we both did the same move. He went for the rocks, I went for the rocks. Clearly he is copying me, which I hate copying people. But I don't like them copying me. So, so I go for the surf, because I want to see how much damage it does. To see, um, how bulky it is. And Swapper is really gonna have no effect to the other Pokemon in the team. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm just gonna leave Swapper to see how much damage a special attack does. Which is pretty good for Swapper since it's named a, a physical attacker, not special attacker. So that's pretty good. And that seems not like Swapper, but now the Wood Hammer did a lot of damage and makes it go like, I don't know, 150 hit points left. It looks like if I just missed you, but oh well. I go for my Alakazam here, um, which is great. And Alakazam was like one of my key players in this battle, so he withdraws predicting that HP fire to leap hard. And maybe he thought I was going for psychic, that's what I was thinking, but I don't know. Um, I go for the HP fire and it does a ton of damage on Leaf Hard, but it doesn't die. That sucks. Ah. So I'm gonna go for HP Fire again because I didn't want to risk the Focus Blast next. And didn't go for, I didn't want to go for Substitute, just being like Hexen or something like that. So yeah. I just take it out with HP Fire. So he goes into Entei, and I totally destroyed Entei big time, and it looks cool, shiny. It's cool. 
and he gets the pressure. I don't know what pressure does really, but I don't know. But I look at a psychic here, and it does a decent amount of damage, and I can I should say, like, it looks like it's down though. And he went for the will -O -Wisp. And I didn't understand why he went for the will -O -Wisp, but it missed anyway, but I didn't go for the will -O -Wisp, but I'm a special attacker. Uh, he went for the will -O -Wisp and a special attacker really did nothing except withering me down. So, yeah, I didn't understand that part. But he thought I was gonna switch, but why would I switch? I had to change to the KO. But I went for the sub here, just fearing him, and I didn't want to get hit with another extreme speed and die anyway. So I go for the sub, he goes for the extreme speed and breaks my sub, which sucks. Again, that sucks. And I took the damage, and I went for the psychic. Just to finish it off. So yeah. There you go, Okay, now I think I've already took out two Pokemon. Two beasts. And yeah. So now we go to the Dust Nor and most Dust Nors I see are physically bulky, not specially bulky. But this one turns out to be specially bulky. And I was shocked about that because I thought those will be physically. So yeah, that was a shocker thing. But it's a new lock or special bulky and stuff more and just overkills my Alakazam. So yeah. That sucks. But alright, it's alright. Let's see if it's bad. So if you don't get this, I go to I go by Scrafty, which is like Scrafty's beast. And especially bulky and physically bulky. So I'm gonna go for my bulky up, bulky up, yeah, and bulky up gets my defense and my attack up like insanely high. So I go for the wool with, and it hits, but I got lucky in this turn, and shed skin cleared up, which is epic, and yeah, and I get my lesson to go back to full health, and the wool with just nothing. That was just a waste of a turn. Wow. So, and yeah. And what? he. So he switches out to bravery, and I hate bravery because bravery always kills my team somehow. Bravery always like, destroys me. And at least I hit my second bulk up here. And I think if I didn't hit the second bulk up, um, bravery would have took out my strategy, and strategy would have out of the game. He goes for the Brave Bird and it did a hit load of damage. I did a hit load of damage. We're all the way to 35 HP left, which is insane. And I was happy when that happened. And I went right for the Thunder Punch to take it down because I was scared. And yeah. Here goes Bravery. I never took out Bravery except for that one. And I was happy for that. So, yeah. So he goes with the Dust Lord. And this was the funny part. Um, he went for the pressure. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Shut up, ability. Shut up. So I go for the Thunder Punch. And it did a lot of damage. And EQ did like a total of 18, I think. And that's how good bulk up is. So, yeah. So, that was great. Bulking it by Scrappy. And that was like good game there if he didn't take me out. So there goes Dustmore. So there goes Dustmore, and I get my lefty Black to go to 54, and he goes into his Gaia Totera, or Gaia, I don't know. And I just take it out with Drain Punch. And. Yeah. 
and I take it out to see it's nice. So that was a good game. Here at 1000, um, very, very competitive battle. Woo! Um, see my team, Blissey, you need low time, I didn't use yet in that battle. And, what else? I got this battle from the TPX chat. So yeah, look, sub, comment, like, and rate, and peace, and stay tuned for more battles.